And um, if you'd like to introduce yourself, tell us where you work and what your job is, please. Sure, my name's Matt, and I work at there as a planner. Good to have you with us, Matt. Um, what was your first job, and, and, and how did you get it in the industry? Really, I was almost fresh out of university, so I did maths at university. Um, the plan was to be a banker. I realized that that was a terrible idea, uh, and actually I was more creative, and, and so I went for a career in advertising. Did a short internship at a startup, and then managed to get into Dare. And um, it, so you, as, as a planner, what was the career sort of progression from that first job to where you are now? Yeah, sure, so um, from the first job, I was literally an intern, doing everything at the startup. Um, when I joined Dare, I was a campaign manager, so I looked after the social media channels of Sainsbury's. Um, and that, that was actually a great experience for a planner to be immersed in a community, um, really learn what makes them tick. I think, I think that's what makes you as a planner these days, or, or maybe a strategist these days. Um, I went from a campaign manager to a planner within maybe two years. Yeah, two years. And uh, is it important to develop a, a range of skills in the early stages of your career? Yeah, absolutely. In my opinion, that you should definitely... You shouldn't be worried about having too many jobs before you settle into one. I think you can learn a variety of skills that will arm you to be a planner. Really, being a planner is about having life experience as well as knowledge, I think. And, um, okay, so next question. Um, when someone's looking to get a, a job at, at DARE, you know, how should they showcase their work uh, or get your attention? How should they so showcase their work? That's well, a tricky that one. A traditional CV or something more exciting? Yeah, um, I really don't think it's about CVs anymore. I think that old model of having a grad scheme once a year where hundreds of people apply and only three people get in is, is completely broken. Nowadays, it's more about the agency coming to you. So the agency making an effort to be in the places that young people are, young people who would never have considered advertising before. Perhaps people who haven't written a CV. And actually, we should go out and scout these people. The end result is that we end up with um, diversity of thought, which leads to better creative work. And um, should people still speculatively approach DARE? Do you, do you, do you encourage that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and um, approach DARE and also approach the people who work at DARE. You know, we're all a friendly bunch of people. Um, give me a shout. I work, I actually run a collective called Shell Suit Zombie. Okay. Um, Shell Suit Zombie is about helping young people to get into the creative industry. So um, chat to me and, and we can... And uh, where would someone... Uh, is there a, a website or there a Twitter is. account? Or there is, yeah. yeah. Give um, a shout out, yeah. Luckily, having a name like Shell Suit Zombie means that if you type that into Google, we're the first ones that pop up. So, let's Google it. Brilliant. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Source LF are London's leading creative communications and media recruitment agency. Be sure to like our video and subscribe to this channel. Take the moment to watch another of our videos on screen now.